After growing up with an abusive father, a man takes it upon himself to kill the deadbeat dads of kids at his school. Welcome to Nonstop Recap. Today, we'll be recapping the 2018 horror film Bloodline. The film opens up on a nurse named Carrie as she finishes up her shift at a hospital and heads to the locker room to shower and change clothes. As she showers, Carrie hears someone behind her and turns around only to be instantly stabbed in the neck and killed by a mysterious assailant. We then see a body getting buried and bloody hands being washed. We then watch as the killer, a man named Evan Cole, heads home and climbs into bed with his wife, Lauren. Their baby, Andrew, starts crying crying, but Evan tells Lauren to go back to sleep as he gets up and comforts him. The film then cuts to three months earlier and we see Evan headed to work as a guidance counselor at a high school. He speaks with several students who all have deep-rooted issues tied to abusive family members in their lives. One of the students named Chris is on track to get a scholarship for his skills in math and Evan asks him about how the scholarship will affect his home life. Evan is clearly dedicated to his students as he offers to go to Chris's house to speak with his mom for him, and Chris is very grateful but says he'll handle it all himself. Evan goes home and we see that Lauren is heavily pregnant, having not given birth to Andrew yet. Evan tells Lauren that his mother Mary has offered to come stay with them for a while after the baby is born, but Lauren wants to try and do everything on their own. That night, Lauren gets out of bed to go to the bathroom and ends up having her water break. They rush to the hospital and Lauren goes into labor. As she pushes and gives birth to Andrew, Evan watches and seemingly has flashbacks to another man's death. Marie shows up sometime later and picks up Andrew. He eventually starts crying and she hands him over to Lauren who tries to feed him but she can't get him to latch. Carrie, the nurse from the beginning of the film, comes in and rudely shows Lauren how to breastfeed before getting snippy with Marie and leaving. Marie goes to get food for everyone but Lauren tells her that they'll handle everything on their own and Marie clearly isn't happy about getting pushed out. As Lauren sleeps that night, Evan cradles Andrew and promises that he'll never hurt him. The happy couple eventually arrives home with their baby, but are soon troubled when Andrew won't eat. We see a montage of the two getting more and more frustrated as Andrew constantly cries and struggles to eat. One night, Evan dreams about a memory from his childhood where his father was beating him, when his mother stepped in and threatened his dad with a knife until he left. When Evan wakes up, he finds his mother has let herself in and is comforting Andrew. He sets her up in their guest bedroom and she can tell that he's stressed out with the new baby and encourages him to make sure he's taking care of himself. At work that day, Chris gives Evan a present for the new baby and Evan is touched. Evan asks Chris about his dad and Chris dodges the question before leaving as soon as the bell rings. Chris sits at his desk and decides to de-stress by listening to a record that he pulls out of a hollowed out book. The recording is of a man describing how he felt as he beat his kids, but Evan gets interrupted by a knock at the door. We then see Evan talking to a student named Ray who was brutally beaten by his dad. Evan tells Ray that he has to report this and assures him that everything is going to be okay. After some thought, Evan decides to jot down some information about Ray's dad. That night, Evan gets out of bed and hunts Ray's dad Lou down at a club. Lou is drunk and Evan offers him a ride home, and as they drive, Lou makes makes several racist comments. Evan brings Lou to an abandoned property and knocks him out before tying him to a chair. When Lou comes to, Evan puts a recorder on the table and asks Lou to describe how he feels when he beats his children. Lou doesn't want to at first, but Evan threatens him. After Lou is done describing it, Evan brutally slashes his throat open and kills him. Evan then buries Lou and heads home, telling his wife that he just went for a drive to clear his mind. We see Evan speaking with Ray, and it seems that Ray's personal life is starting to improve. Evan gets home early that night and loves on his wife, and the two have a heart-to-heart -heart about how difficult it's been with Andrew. Lauren then asks Evan to go tell his mom not to watch TV while she's holding Andrew, and he goes off to walk with her. Marie turns off the TV and tells Andrew to be careful.
grateful with Lauren because she's delicate. We see Evan talking with Ray again at school, and Ray is in distress over his father being missing. Evan tries to convince him that his dad probably just ran off and that Ray's life will be better now, but Ray is clearly still a little worried. He then speaks with a student named Kelly who is being assaulted by her uncle Fred. Evan tracks Fred down that night and kidnaps him, bringing him to the same place he killed Lou. Once Fred is tied down, Evan asks him to describe the feelings and sensations he experiences when assaulting Kelly. Fred goes into gross detail and Evan stabs him once in the gut. Evan begins to get a call from Lauren and it turns out that Andrew has a 105 degree temperature and she asks him to meet her and Marie at the hospital. With no time to waste, Evan repeatedly stabs Fred and puts him in his trunk before heading out to the hospital. Evan gets to the hospital and Lauren is stressed out and irritated that Evan wasn't home. A doctor comes by and tells him everything will be fine and Carrie shows up and tells Lauren that it's normal normal for babies to get a fever and she shouldn't get hysterical about everything. As they walk towards Evan's car, he sees that part of the body bag is hanging out. But his mother notices and gets Lauren's attention and walks her over to the other side of the car so she can't see it, hinting that Marie might know more about her son's murderous tendencies than we realize. Evan goes back out much later that night and finally buries Fred. Life seems to be going normal for the next few days but one night, Evan gets a call from Chris and goes to meet him outside a convenience store. The two talk, and it turns out that his dad had showed up at the house that night, and the two had gotten into a fight and left Chris with a bloody eye. Chris starts to blame himself for starting the fight, and Evan assures him that it isn't his fault, and he promises to take care of it. The next morning, Lauren questions Evan about going out again during the night, and he tells her about Chris. At school that day, Evan talks to Chris on the phone, and Chris assures him that he's made up with his dad, and that his dad is getting clean and trying to repair their relationship. We then see Chris's dad Mark at the hospital where he lies about having kidney stones to try and get some pain medication. Carrie yells at him to get out. We then see Carrie end her shift for the night and pass by Evan as she walks toward the showers. Evan ends up following Mark as he sneaks into one of the doctor's rooms looking for drugs, and Evan offers to give him some, only to knock him out while he's not looking. Meanwhile, Carrie is killed in the showers, and it's revealed that it was actually Marie who killed her. Back with Evan, she ties Mark up and asks him how he feels lying to Chris. Mark insists that he isn't lying to Chris about wanting to get clean and that he really does want to have a relationship with his son, but Evan doesn't believe him. Evan stabs Mark, and Mark insists that he really does want a relationship with Chris, and he even mentions that Chris's mom recently came into some money. But but he wasn't interested in any of it. He just wants to see Chris. Evan is surprised to hear about the money, but he ends up killing Mark, and Mark says that Evan is a monster. As Evan buries Mark's body, he remembers the night that he killed his own dad to protect his mom, and the two buried his body together. Evan holds Andrew when he gets home that night, and Marie comes over and cleans some blood off his neck, saying that she's happy he's taking care of himself. Evan gets into bed, and Lauren asks him if he's okay. He tells her he is, and the two embrace. The next morning, Evan sees a news report and discovers that the bodies of his victims have all been found. At school, Ray is upset about his dad being dead, while Kelly seems pleased her uncle is gone. Chris is upset that he's lost the chance to ever have a relationship with his dad, and Evan tries to convince him that this is the best thing that could have happened. He then slips up and mentions the money Mark had told him about, and Chris questions how how Evan knows about that. Evan lies and says that Chris told him about it and forgot, but Chris seems suspicious. At the house, Lauren and Marie get a visit from Detective Overstreet, who is investigating the bodies that were found. He asks if Evan is home and invites himself in to wait for him. When Evan gets home, he's questioned by Overstreet because all three of the victims were connected to him via his students. Evan complies with Overstreet, but it's obvious the detective is still suspicious. On his way out, Overstreet asks if Evan has been absent late at night, but both Lauren and Marie lie for Evan. Overstreet visits Lauren again the next day to talk to her about Evan's history. She then asks where he was the night of Fred's death, 
death, and she says that he was at the hospital with her. She mentions that Evan goes driving late at night, but she says that no matter what, he always comes home to her. Overstreet gives Lauren his number and tells her to call if she thinks of anything else. Lauren tells Evan about her talk with the detective that night, and things are tense between them. That night, Evan and Marie watch a news report about Carrie's body being found. Evan and Lauren get woken up that night by Chris banging on their door. Evan answers the door, and Chris pulls a gun on him, saying that he knows Evan killed his dad. Evan is able to disarm him, and Chris ends up running off. Evan comforts Lauren and gets her back to bed before going to check on Andrew when he starts crying. Lauren watches on the baby monitor as Evan talks with Andrew, and it's clear she suspects that Evan killed those men. Lauren ends up going through Evan's things and eventually finding his secret recorder, which confirms that Evan is the killer. Marie talks with Lauren the next day and subtly hints to her that she needs to get her own hands dirty to protect her family. Evan gets a call from Lauren that day and she asks him to watch Andrew after school because she just needs some time to herself. We then see Lauren call Chris and tell him that she believes him and wants to meet up. When Evan gets home, he talks to his mother who is worried that Lauren will go to the cops, but Evan trusts her. He ends up finding and following her car to an abandoned lot where she meets up with Chris. Lauren shoots Chris and makes it look like a suicide before taking his phone and making a post on Instagram that makes it seem like Chris also killed Lou, Fred, and Mark. We then see Lauren and Evan watching a news report about Chris's death when they get a visit from Overstreet. Overstreet questions Evan about how Chris might have gotten information on the other students, and ultimately he believes that Evan is innocent now. He heads out, and Lauren and Evan go into Andrew's room to admire their son. Click on one of the videos on screen for more.